Hey guys, in this video I want to go over stupid mistakes and how you can avoid them and some of the mistakes that I have made. Um, so I'm just going to go down the list. Number one, don't smoke and trade. Uh, cigarettes, uh, pot, narcotics, don't take mind-altering drugs and trade. And that includes alcohol. Number two, do not trade on the phone. Um, you can, the only thing that you should do with your phone is if you are in a position and you need to close it out, you can close it out on the phone. Guys, you don't have enough screen real estate on your cell phone to trade. Um, do not, do not trade on the phone. Uh, you know, have the, be, be able to close out a position on the phone, but do, do not trade on the phone. Uh, number three, guys, if for whatever reason, this is what I've been getting today with uh, if you're trading like a top step or something and trade of eight is doing this to you uh, just stop trading um, I'm only comfortable trading on on trading view so I, I don't like uh, I do not like trade of eights uh, web platform at all um, it doesn't have the drawing tools or the things that I, I like it doesn't have the ability to go into regular trading hours so if you are getting some sort of a broker error uh, like this which is really making me angry today because you know obviously I like trading I'd, I'd rather be trading right now than not but I can't thanks trade of eight um, if you have something like this if you cannot trade on your comfortable platform like for me it's obviously trading view don't trade that's another stupid mistake Guys, if you're on the one minute chart and the market is doing this and you're not comfortable with that, okay, you know what that is right there, that sort of thing, or let's talk about, okay, let's say that you're on Wednesday's trading and this is the five minute NASDAQ and that's the market that you're looking at right now. Guys, just sit it out. Just wait for the next session. Look, when New York lunch came in, the market started moving again. And then uh, during the New York PM session, let's say from 1330 to 1600, we got good movement on the market, right? So just if you see that the AM session is doing this, or if you're seeing that the London session is doing this to you, uh, don't trade. If you're not comfortable with that, and I don't know why you would become like that sucks. That's a market environment that's very difficult, um, and it's going to suck. So if you see a market that's doing that to you, don't trade. Just wait. It's as simple as that, guys. Uh, don't trade when the market's doing that. That's another okay. That's another stupid mistake. Another stupid mistake. If you see core anything, Fed interest rate decision or core this, core that, economic release, don't trade. Don't trade economic releases. Just don't. You know that I don't trade the New York Open. I will not start trading the regular trading hours until 0945, preferably 0950. Okay? I don't trade the New York Open. I think that that's gambling. But guys, if you see an economic release that's coming out at 730, so that'd be 0830 New York local time, don't trade. Just, you know, you can trade the London session before, but don't trade right up to it. The stupid mistake, guys. Don't trade. Okay? Do not trade on mind altering drugs of any kind. So, nicotine, other narcotics, prescription, prescription drugs. Um, yeah, I would say pot too. I would not smoke pot and, and trade. No, I wouldn't. Do not drink and trade. Uh, no, I would not have a beer while you're day trading the NASDAQ, for Christ's sake. No, I would not. Uh, don't drink and trade. Don't trade during an economic release. Don't trade on your phone. Don't trade if you cannot connect to your freaking trade of eight because trade of eight's, you know, doing what it's doing. If, if you can't connect to your, I will not trade on anything but trading view, okay, because that's what I've been using for months and trying to use it professionally. And so if I can't get on trading view, I'm not trading period. Like that's end of story. Guys, if you've got a spotty internet connection, if you, if your internet connection is just not working, don't trade. I don't know what to tell you. Don't trade where you can't close a position. Don't trade. Um, that's another stupid mistake, guys. 
Don't trade if you are dead tired and you can't wake up. Don't trade. Don't trade the New York Open. 0930, the first 30 minutes of, of the regular trading hour session from 0930 to 09, about 0950. Don't, don't bother, guys. There's no point. There's no point. And you're just gambling, and there's no point in doing that. Don't trade an economic release. You know that I don't trade. Every single day, I will not trade from 0815 to 0945. I will not trade. I will be flat. I will not trade an economic release time or the New York Open. If you see that the market, you got to know your session times, guys, but if you see that the market is just doing that on you, uh, you know, I got... I got news for you guys. Just don't trade. It's a stupid mistake. So, guys, another stupid mistake. Don't put on five contracts when the market, when the market is in a 160-point range. Don't put on five contracts, guys. That's crazy. That's crazy. Don't over leverage. That's another stupid mistake. Make money, make income over time. When you see that the market is in a massive range, it's in over a percent range, right? Or over, I would say, anything over 150 points on the NASDAQ, one contract, two contracts max. Why? You're trying to preserve capital, guys. It's it's anything above that, and it's very, very risky. So these are some stupid mistakes, guys. Don't trade when you're dead tired. Don't trade on any sort of mind-altering substances. Do not trade on your phone. I would say do not trade the New York Open. Do, do not trade the New York Open. Do not trade during an economic release. Um, and I would also say, you know, FOMC day, you might just want to take that whole day off. <laughs> just to be perfect. I mean, I, you know, I don't, you know, maybe take that whole day off. Um, and then you must scale your risk with what session time it is and, and how much the volatility is, guys. Don't put on five contracts when the NASDAQ is in a 200-point range. Okay, those are some very easy, stupid mistakes that you can avoid, and you can save a lot of your, um, a lot of your time, hard work, capital investment. You can save a lot of heartache if you uh, listen to the advice that I just gave you. Everything I, I just gave you there is very sober, clear, should be non-controversial advice. Okay, all right, guys, this has been Stupid Mistakes Volume One. There'll probably be more, and uh, how to avoid stupid mistakes. Oh, one more. Guys, uh, do not trade without a stop loss. Ever. 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 Do not ever trade without a stop loss in the market. If you cannot, for whatever reason, you don't have an internet connection or whatever, you can't put on the stop loss, flatten that position right away. Do not ever trade without a stop loss. Ever. 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 Not in a million years. Do not ever trade without a stop loss. Not a mental stop loss, a stop loss in the market. In the market, the second you put a position on, first question is where's the stop going, okay? Do not trade without a stop loss. That's another stupid mistake. So do not trade without a stop loss. Do not trade on any sort of mind-altering substances, including a bunch of sugar, guys. If you're eating a bunch of ice cream, don't trade. Do not trade on any mind-altering substances. Do not trade on your phone. Do not trade without a stop loss. Do not trade during an economic release. Do not trade the New York Open. Okay? Do not trade when you cannot connect to your broker. I, I guess now I can't connect to it. Um, do Stupid mistakes, guys, and they can be avoided. So with that being said, guys, I hope you all uh, were successful this week. There's a list of stupid mistakes and how you can avoid them and start to become a professional at day trading. And yes, I've made all of those mistakes myself. Uh, if I had not made those mistakes myself, I wouldn't talk about them. Bye-bye.